Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today I've got my hands on issue number 33 of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt Partworks and we're making the Mrs. Tiggy Winkle applique character square. So as you can see, there's lots of pieces in the Mrs. Tiggy Winkle character square and this applique is going to be carried over into the next issue which is issue number 34. So today we're going to make a start on her. We're going to trace out her pieces onto the bonder web, cut them out and then iron them onto the fabric pieces and also cut those out too. We've got a lot to do, let's get started. Our backing fabric for the Mrs. Tiggy Winkle applique is the blue gingham. I'm going to be using this one. You'll also receive lots of little pieces of fabric. There's a lot involved with this one. We've got the pink, we've got the rose, the bamboo, the white, the cream, the yellow, biscuit, and the baby blue. Our first step is to trace out all of Mrs. Tiggy Winkle's pieces from template number one. You can see there's lots of them and they're very irregular. This is going to take quite a while and we're going to be using quite a bit of bonder web. That's why I'm going to be using up all of my little leftover scraps and pieces. Time to get tracing. So as you can see, I've used up all of my little scraps of bonder web. Some of the pieces are really quite large and irregular. I've actually got one, two, three, and the fourth sheet is all of the areas which I'm not going to embroider. I've traced them out and I'm going to applique these as well. I've got a big job ahead of me, time to cut this out. The shapes, as I mentioned, are really quite odd, so I'm sure it will take a while. I'm going to take my time. So as you can see, all the pieces are cut out. It took quite a while. And also please note that from issue number 31, we were meant to keep a little piece of our rose fabric for Mrs. Tiggy Winkle's dress. I'm now going to carefully press all of our bonder web pieces onto their designated fabrics.
of our bondweb pieces have been pressed down onto their designated fabrics, I'm going to be very carefully cutting these out now. More cutting, lots of cutting in this particular applique square. I'd have to say that this is the most complex and detailed out of all of them so far. All of our pieces are cut. There's no more cutting, I'm glad to say. I'm going to use these two guides, this coloured numbered guide and the template number two, to place all of the pieces down onto the fabric. I'm going to remove the backing of the bonder web before I place it down. And when all my pieces are set, I'm then going to press it in one hit. Well, I've been at it for over an hour now and it's proving to be quite troublesome and very fiddly. I'm getting really quite impatient with it and a bit tired. I really recommend that you start with the basket first. Her laundry, these bits of fabric here, then dictate where her hands are and therefore the placement of her body. I'm finding Mrs. Tiggy Winkle really difficult. So I'm going to have a bit of a break and study it a bit further and take it up next week. Thank you for joining me today. Please pace yourself with this one. She's a real tricky one. I hope you've enjoyed making yours and you're having success. But please don't forget to like and subscribe please hit the subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you next time when I work out Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. See you next time. Bye.